Hi everyone, uh, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today I am going to walk you through how to add a Flowdesk form to your Shopify site. So this is uh, my current site, shopdragonflyapp.com. If you scroll down, you can see like you get a discount plus access to free resources. Um, and rather than using a uh, Shopify newsletter form, I have Flowdesk added in. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to be doing it in a like test site, so kind of ignore ignore the mess, I guess. Okay, so first I'm going to create like a, a kind of test form here. Um, this is now on the Flowdesk side. So when you log into your account, I'm just going to do an inline. Um, let's do that for now. So you'll pick your list. You can update this to look however you'd like and customize it. <laughs> I'm going to skip like all of this because it's just a, like a test tutorial. Um, but once you're here on embed, this is like once you've customized it, um, this is how you're going to get the code that you need. So here you're going to start with the header code. So you are going to copy this. Okay, so once that's copied, you're going to go back to your Shopify site. So if you are here on home, we're going to go down to online store. And we're going to click actions, edit code. Now let that load. Okay, then you're going to go to theme.liquid. So right here you'll see the head code. So um, I should scroll all the way down to find the end. So right here you'll see uh, the brackets with a forward slash head code. So right above that I'm going to hit a couple spaces and I'm going to copy that. Okay, so it's going to be right above the head. And then just hit save. Okay, so then you're saved. Um, also, if you want to add a pop up, you're going to, you only have to do this once on the Shopify site. So um, if that's kind of what you want to do. Okay, um, then you're going to go to customize. Again, this is like a, a fake store, so it's going to like look weird, but um, you are going to do add section and then sorry, go back up to custom content and then hit select. You can delete these other um, like the default content. And then you're going to add, add content and do custom HTML. Okay, so that's where you're going to go. So let's go back to Flowdesk. And right here, you're going to do inline code. So copy that. Go back and then paste it. And then I always make sure that it's 100%. And then hit save. And then you can see the form is now there. Um, and to remove this heading, to remove that and hit save. Sometimes on the back end, it does disappear like that. So just make sure everything is saved. Um, and then you can go to your full screen and it is there. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much all set. That's how you add Flowdesk to your Shopify site. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below or leave a nice comment about how this helped you. Um, don't forget to check out dragonflyapp.com uh, for more resources and tips and tutorials. Um, and also check out shopdragonflyapp.com as well for some cool uh, products. Um, yeah, uh, talk soon. Thanks. Bye.